In this tutorial number 5 on Vista software, I will show you how to draw heterostructure of monolayer graphene and WS2. Okay, so let's go and open Vista software. In the download folder, I have graphite and WS2 CI file. Select any one of them. So let's consider graphite and drag it to the Vista software. Okay, it will help you to visualize the unit cell of graphite. If you are new to my channel then do check out my previous video in which I have shown you how to download Vista software also how to get the COD, uh, CI file for the different material from COD website and also how to generate mono layer of uh, 2D material by using Vista software so now let's go and click on the edit and here go to the edit data and click on the phase so this is right now phase number one okay which is of carbon and here we need to import the second phase so click on the import and the second phase is of WS2 select it I have CI file for WS2 and open it so now I got two phase phase 1 and phase 2 okay in the bottom you will find option for positioning okay so position phase number 2 that is place XYZ of this layer at XYZ of layer so you need to choose the layer over here so if you use this arrow then it will help you to tune the layer so layer one so this layer is a zero zero and then layer one okay that's a carbon then in the bottom you'll see orientation align orientation of this layer with respect to layer so again change it to one so this layer one zero zero orientation uvw or hkl is zero zero one with the zero zero one hkl of layer one now just click apply okay and it will help you to create the two unit cell so one is a ws2 and another is a graphene a uh, graphite but we want a mono layer of graphene and also the mono layer of WS2. So how to do that one? Go back to the edit again and click on bonds. Okay. And here select the phase. So right now phase is one. And the phase number one and this is carbon carbon. Search mode is, mode is search A2 bonded to A1 and the boundary mode is you have to check the third one. Search additional atom and then apply. So it will help you to create mono layer okay, of graphene. Now go to the phase number 2 which is WS2. But here we don't have any bond. So what you can do is click on new and it will help you to create new one. Search mode again keep the same. Search A2 bonded to A1. okay, And search additional atom recruiting if either A1 or A2 is visible. Over here A1 is W and you need to change A2 to sulfur. Okay and apply. But you will see no change right. So you need to tune this length. So let's say length to three and then apply. Now it will help you to create the layer of WS2 as well. Now let's go and click on A and use this one to fix it. So this is a view along A axis. So here we can see WS2 and also the graphene, but they are overlapping, right? So if you go and click on C, then it will look like this one. Okay, so select A and now again you need to go back, click on the edit and edit data, click on the face. What we need to do is we need to positioning. So we need to position this one. So let's consider position of 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 with respect to layer 1 and then apply. So it will help you to move slightly upward. Okay, so, so the... The, the gap between two layer is defined by this number. So if you change to say 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.5 apply. You see, it's much bigger, right? So uh, for this, now we'll keep 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. You can try the same method for other material as well and see how it works. Okay. Now we just want to show the two layer, right? Like this one, graphene and WS2. So how to do that one? So first select this white cursor on the left hand side and select the layer which you don't want to show. Do the same for the bottom and just simply delete it. Now we also don't want to show this unit cell, right? So go to the properties. In the property you will find the option in general unit cell. So do not show. So the unit cell will be disappear, will disappear and click OK. And maybe you don't want to show two axes. So how to disappear this axis? Like you can go to the properties. And I think here is the option first access show compass. So if you select this box, it will disable this. 
and click OK. Zoom it. Uh, you can use this uh, under four arrow cursor and move this to center. Zoom it again. Now W has to look uh, bigger than the graphene. So how to remove this part? Simply choose white arrow and select the atom which you don't want to show. It will help you to delete those. Okay, so this is how we can show. And if you want to change the color or some properties, so again go back to the properties, uh, click the atom. So this is a carbon atom. I would like to show it in the black color. So it will change the color and here I would prefer white. That's a material quality and change it in red. Okay. And uh, bonds, I prefer color line instead of by color. So choose a color line. Okay. So it will help you to change for both. Okay. And if you want to select individual, how to do that one? Let's see, reduce color. Okay, over here you can choose individual atoms. So carbon, if you choose a tungsten W, then you can change the color because right now is a gray color. And then sulfur, that's a yellow color by default. And if you go to the bond, and I think you should be able to, okay. Uh, we cannot select in individual uh, bond. Uh, we cannot select bond for each layer. Uh, we can only use one type of okay and uh, how about using unicolor or bicolor okay so it will be uh, like this okay choose the color one that's all so this is how we can create the heterostructure by using Vista software now you can play with this a b so it look like this one if you go to the c and uh, choose this option and you can move it Okay, so they are vertically stacked over each other. I think uh, about the orientation, you can just simply go to the edit and uh, edit data and phase. And here you can try different orientation. If you want to show a particular plane like 111 with respect to 001 or some other plane. And I think you can play around those options. Uh, now let's see how we can export this data. So go to the file and export raster image so the graphite uh, so this is like a gr and ws2 okay and i'll save in the download folder we got multiple file options so i'll be choosing png and click save and here for png you get option let background be transparent so check this box and you can also use the different scale x and click ok i will show you difference between the png and jpg with and without transparent okay export raster image again and instead of png now choose jpg and uh, is a graphene ws2 sorry ws2 and save now we don't see option for transparent right so only option for scale so click ok okay go back to download so here we have png file and jpg file if you open the png file you will see the background <clears throat> look a gray color that is it has no background <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry and if you choose graphene ws2 with jpg it has a white background so that's basic difference if you want to see more in more detail like just open the powerpoint so consider blank and uh, let's say this color okay insert the color shape so it's a blue color okay now go to the download and choose this uh, png file format and drag it to the now you'll see a beautiful background of blue color because the background is transparent in this case now let's go back again and choose the jpg file and drag it again and over here you will see a white background so that's the basic difference between transparent and white background when you when it comes to the exportation now go back to the Vista again and go to file and you can click on save as and you can choose like graphene ws2 okay and save so close this software and you can go back and here i have saved this graphene ws2 just open it okay so yeah 
that simple it is in next tutorial i will be discussing about how to show dope uh, atom in a unit cell or also how to show i'll consider example of like a copper dope sodium chloride if you learn something through this video then do like and also don't forget to press the bell icon button updated with my new videos and also please share and subscribe